hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to fetch the products by category in our Django e-commerce so previously we had made this thing so we were able to fetch the category and display it so now when I click on this category I should be able to view the products from this category so for that let's start with the coding so here is the collections which we just made in the previous video so inside this card you need to add an a tag a href is equal to and here we will be giving the slug and just close the a tag over here here we are going to say url of collections slash and here we will be showing the item dot slug so you can just remove the slash so copy this thing and go to your urls.py file and here just create a new path paste collections slash within angle brackets say string of slug views dot collections view and name is equal to just give this thing yeah collections view so copy this function and go to your views file and here create a function and paste so here we need to pass the request and the slug so that is the category slug we are passing so here first we are going to check is we will just check if there is any category existing with that slug or not so we'll write an if condition and inside this if condition just say category dot objects dot filter where slug is equal to the slug and status is equal to zero so if this is true then we are going to filter the products from that category say products is equal to product model dot objects dot filter okay so the colon is missing over here filter where the category double underscore slug so this is the relationship we are referring to the category we had the foreign key right so that tables slug is matching to our slug which we have passed in our function or here and just create the context products say return render and here we'll be passing the template request say store slash product product slash index dot html okay so this thing will keep it inside products folder because we will have the product view and this thing will be the product list so let us create a folder with the name products so inside your template store new folder products and inside that just create new file index dot html okay and for this if condition and just pass the context over here and if this if condition doesn't become true then it will go to the else part here we are going to set the message say messages so let us just import that from django dot contrib import messages messages dot warning just pass the request comma you can say no such category found or you can give a general message telling the link you followed was broken and return redirect to the 
collection speed so let us go to the index.html file and we will be using the same layout so just control a copy and paste so here instead of collections we need to display the category name so we will be sending it along with this thing itself so say category underscore name is equal to category model dot objects dot filter where the slug is equal to the slug dot first just copy that and paste it over here so we can just echo that over here category name dot name save and here inside this item dot category we are just going to put this products so we are looping through the product list paste so for item in products we will have the product image right so item dot product underscore image so this was our column name in the products model so you can just check it over here so in your product model you have the product image as your image field just paste it over here change this to product image and this thing is just for the CSS class right so you can just leave it like that and here we'll have the item of name and for the product we'll have selling price and the original price right so let us create a span tag and close the span tag here we'll have item dot selling price copy and paste here have item dot original price so everything looks good let us refresh and check the output refresh just go to the code and check in your collections so collections and item of slug let us go and check in the urls file and here okay so we need to give this name just paste it over here yes so now i think that error must be solved refresh and here it is so when you click on laptops you'll get all the laptops and i click on mobiles i have to get all these mobiles okay so this one we have not removed that thing right so this we just copied it from the categories template so I need to remove this thing save and refresh so you can see inside mobiles I have got all the mobiles and the mobile categories over here so this thing we had kept float field right so we are getting the zero so if you are making it in dollars so you might require this float field so if you are making it in Indian rupees so you can just give that string format colon within single quotes give d so just copy and paste the same thing for the other thing over here paste and refresh so you can see you got that price and here in this you can just give a class say float start copy that and paste it for the other span tag and say float end save refresh so you got it separately we need to show that in a breadcrumbs over here that in what category we are so inside your collections let us give it over here copy and paste and just close the div here just remove not container we will be having p y 3 and inside that we will keep it inside a container 
and I'll just give the background color over here BG primary and here we'll have the home slash collections slash the yeah this is the collections page right so it'll be only till collections let us just check refresh and make it white over here just give a tag over here so these are going to be clickable close the a tag href is equal to so home is going to be on the url of home or you can just leave it null or i think we have given a name right yeah home let's copy that and paste home just copy paste home slash collections control x paste and here just give this collections and we need to add a class over here for both these things say class text white save refresh and we'll just remove this underline over here so we'll do that in the main template and here we'll just give us style tag close the style tag and say a text decoration to be none let us check the output refresh and it's gone okay so this thing will take us to collections this will take us to home okay looks cool so now when you go on mobiles i need that same thing over here so just copy that and paste it in your products page and here just copy and paste so we'll have the category name over here so you can see it over here right just copy that and paste and the same thing over here you can just give the collections view yeah and this thing collections view and the category name of slug okay dot slug so this is not category name we'll just change that let us keep it category and we will change that in the views file yeah over here save refresh so need to add the slash over here got it over here collections mobiles and if i open this thing this product view should be opened so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to fetch the products by category in our django e-commerce so in the next video we will be seeing how to design the product view page and add to cart and other things so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you